This video introduces the concept of superposition in differentiation. Previous video then introduced differentiation from first principles and it's logical therefore to consider what consequences follow from this derivation. Superposition is a scenario where a function comprises the sum of other functions so there's more than one function involved and what we want to do is find the derivative of a function which is the sum of other functions. Now students are reminded that if they don't want to see derivations and just get on with using differentiation you can skip to the sixth resource. Sum of functions then. The scenario we are looking at here is a function which is the sum of other functions so here you'll see f of x has got an x squared function and a 4 cos 2x function. So there's two separate subfunctions, if you like, contributing to f of x. Or well, here, with z, we've got a 3w to the minus 3, a 10 sine w over 2, and an e to the minus w. So three separate functions make up g of w. And here's a final example. And in this case, we've now got four separate functions, which all add together to make up h. So the question is, how do we differentiate such functions? And here's the core result. The derivative of a sum of functions is the sum of the derivatives of the individual functions. So here's an example, and we'll do the proof in the following slides. So let's imagine you had x squared. So the derivative of x squared is 2x. If you just had sine 4x, then the derivative is 4 cos 4x. If you had a function x squared plus sine 4x, then the derivative is simply the derivative of x squared added to the derivative of sine 4x. So you can see the derivative of a sum, so here I've got a sum of two functions, is the sum of the derivatives. So all you need to do is differentiate each term in turn and add the results. Now what we're going to do next is just show that that result is obvious and we're going to use the basic definition from the previous video which is that a derivative dy dx is defined as the limiting value as delta x goes to zero of y x plus delta x minus y x, so that's the change in y divided by the change in x. Or you can use other variables if you like. So let's use this definition on a sum of functions. So we're going to use it on a function f plus g. So what I do is plug f plus g into my definition for the derivative and you'll see I get f of x plus delta x plus g of x plus delta x minus f of x minus g of x. That's what I've now got in the numerator. Now all I do next is separate this as follows. So I bring the two f terms together and the two g terms together. And if I stick in some brackets, you'll see I've got a term f of x plus delta x minus f of x divided by delta x and g of x plus delta x minus g of x over delta x. And clearly this term in here is df dx and this term in here is dg dx and so we get the result dy dx is df dx plus dg dx. Now an extension to more functions so if you had three functions or four functions and so on should be obvious. So here's an example find the derivative of the following so all you do is you first differentiate the x squared term, then you differentiate the 4 cos 2x term, and then you simply add the two results together. Oh, well, here's another example. So you differentiate that term, you differentiate that term, and you differentiate that term. So you do the three derivatives separately, and then all you do is add the results together.
together. So there's your superposition. So in summary, this brief resource has shown that the derivative of a sum is the sum of the derivatives. So if you have a function which is made up of other functions, so f plus g plus h plus z, and you want, for example, dy dx, you just differentiate f with respect to x and add it to the derivative of g with respect to x, h with respect to x, and z with respect to x, and so on.